What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Makanuchi Monday, our favorite day of the week. Uh, today we're going to be checking out the fight between Miata and Jimmy Sisfa, one you guys have been asking for for a really long time. Uh, I've been trying to do these episodes or these fights as I get to them in the series. I'm not quite up to this one yet. However, you guys have been asking for it. I wanted to check it out, so I figured let's do it. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, Jimmy Sisfa in the series uh, is called the second coming of a fighter named Kao Sai Galaxy, who was a Muay Thai fighter turned boxer who defended his WBA title 19 times between 1984 and 1991. 16 of those defenses coming by knockout by way of his left hand. All of his knockouts came by his left straight, being a southpaw fighter. And in fact, his left hand was labeled the single hardest punch out of all of the lower weight classes. So with Jimmy being based on Kalsai, uh, I'm super, super excited to see what he brings against Miata here. I think Miata's gonna be in some serious trouble, but uh, let's find out. Anyway, guys, I'm excited. Hope you are too. Let's go. So this is after his fight uh, against Mashiba that he lost. He moved to Thailand. Not 100% sure yet. Like I said, I'm not quite up to here in the series, but I imagine that he's gone out there to fight some different people, get some more experience to go back to Thailand, uh, to go back to Japan, to be able to finally beat and fight Ippo. All right, here we go. The counter puncher versus the heavy handed Jimmy. If it was realistic, those ties in the corner would be smoking. Everyone in the audience would be drinking. There'd be gambling money flashed around. It's just the way that it is when you're at the fights. <laughs> yeah, they just started. Well, Miata's sweating. He's having a tough time. I thought, you know, this would be a good, uh, good fight for Miata. You know, he's got those counters. He's used to fighting the power fighters. Those big, heavy power punches. It's a really good test for his eventual fight against Ippo. And those ties have unlimited cardio. Man, Miata's down. It's only been like 30 seconds into the fight. <laughs> yeah, see, I was right to bet on you. Can't watch fights in Thailand without some gambling. Yeah, man, Miata's gone through a tough time, lose to Mishiba. Now this. He's definitely got a lot tougher, though. With his, like, ability to get up and kind of deal with adversity. He's definitely grown a lot already throughout the series. That's it, Miata. Gloves up, shake it off. Let's go, come on. Is he gonna make it out of round three? Let's see. Loaded up on that back foot, weight press forward. He's getting ready to throw some heavy counters. Or is he gonna switch to infighting? Oh no, yeah, okay, he's looking for that jolt counter. Yeah, driving off that back foot, off the toes on the back foot, pushing all the body weight through. So you're punching with all of your body weight, all 125-ish pounds of Miata, as opposed to just punching with, you know, the 10 pounds of his arm. And their momentum coming in multiplies it too. Yeah. <laughs> 
He's got that right hand down a little bit. He's baiting that left hand so he can come in with the heavy right over the top. Yeah, he's going to get Jimmy in close so he can land that right. Kind of wish I'd made him a southpaw, but I mean, like, you know, he's not based on Kalsai. He's the second coming of Kalsai, so we'll allow the, uh, the orthodox. There's that big left hand. Turn the foot low, left hand coming up, right hand coming over. He had it coming in with his right hand. Here's that jolt counter. So who's going to get there first, though? That's the big question. Oh, Jimmy gets there first, just a little bit faster. Damn, Miata down twice in the third. And with the way time goes in Ipo, you don't know how long is left in this round. It could be 15 seconds left for all we know. Come on, Miata. Let's go. Let's get up. Come on, bud. He's entirely out. I mean, they're already counting, so like, what's the point of throwing in the towel right now? Either he gets up before the count and keeps fighting, or he stays down, count ends, and that's it. At least give him a chance to stand up. I mean, maybe then throw in the towel if he does get up. It's so easy to lay there. It is so easy to just lay there on the ground. You kick yourself afterwards, but in the moment, it's so easy to not get up. That's right, he's not just fighting for Ippo now. He's fighting to show the world that his dad's style of boxing is the best. Okay, he has to get back up now. They can't do all this, just have him throw in the towel. There we go, the slow climb back to the feet. Come on, six. It's either going to be the world's slowest three count now. Or Miata's got to explode up. Almost like Undertaker style, just up, done. This looks a lot like his spa with Ippo, the way that he was getting up. Yes, he's got the green determination flash in his eyes. You know shit's gonna go down now. That was a really cool shot of Miata. Oh, Miata. <laughs> Because he's Miata, buddy. He doesn't stay down. And don't you dare tell Miata to stop. Who just makes it out of the third. Okay, that should be a stoppage right there. If your second has to come in and carry you to the corner, that should be it. Did his other second have a beer? Did I miss that? No, he's... 
No, he can't. He bursts his eardrum. I know what's worse, hitting your head on the bottom rope or uh, or getting hit by Jimmy. <laughs> that is a beer in his hand. All right. Looking more and more like Thailand. いつのパンチを見過ぎるぞ。相手のパンチと同時に飛び込め。フォローは考えるな。当たれば倒れる。失敗してラッキーだったことがもう一つある。ジミーのタイミングを体で覚えることができたことだ。カウンターを。It's a hard way to learn it. Ah, I mean, a good corner would stop it. In real life, a good corner should stop that. However, in the anime, man, is it hype. I, I, want, I want this fourth round to start. Show them respect. This is, that is something Tyres will do. If they don't think you deserve their respect, they will not give you 100%. If they think that you are worthy of respect, they will give you everything they have. It's when they take it easy on you that they're just like, ah, whatever, you're not worth my time. If they beat the crap out of you, though, it's when you know you're on the right track. Yeah, good. The second should be pissed off. Good head movement from Miata. Not a whole lot of boxing for us to break down in this one. Just Miata getting dropped. Oh. He's just being a punching bag. Every time he goes back to Miata, he's just being a punching bag there. And yet he still encourages his son to go out there and try it. Is that good having big body? Oh, I like that body uppercut there. Just making him miss. The relationship with Miata and his dad always gets me a little bit because my dad never taught me how to fight, but I always wanted to make him proud. You know, I think that's just a son thing, right? Oh, no. Ducks underneath. Here comes. No, there comes the body, the liver shot. Gets him a duck underneath that one so he can't move. Huge body shot, big right hand over the top. Hits that left hook to the body. Lots of guys end up dropping the hand, right? Because they get hit in the body, it hurts. The guard comes down, opens up the chin to the big shot. But yeah, any, ever since my uh, my dad passed away last year, anything like father-son just, just gets me going. I'm, I'm waiting for Miata to, like, die in this fight. This is where being too stubborn gets very, very, very bad for your health. You gotta be willing to lose sometimes to be able to fight another day. Well, here he comes. That big left hook. Ooh, gets inside of it. Oh, I left jab. My bad, my bad. Comes the uppercut. Jimmy just gets his head out of the way. 
Miata's off balance. This is when this is Jimmy's chance to finish it. Right straight. Is this Miata's chance? Yes! Hits him with that choke out of the big right hand over the top. Woo! <laughs> yeah, Miata! Woo! Oh. <laughs> I do love that it only ever takes him like one punch to do it though. Let's see if he stays down though. That is the big question. I mean, all of his force, all of Miata's weight, driving off that back foot. That's a hell of a punch. I mean, if he does get up, that's it. Like, Miata's done. His corner better throw in the towel if he gets up. Not that Miata's even going to be able to tell. He's so out of it. It's everything he had. Did he stand up? Is that Miata's corner? Oh yeah, he recovers from a burst of eardrum just like that. Wow! This far couldn't get back up. Holy shit! Yes! At a boy, Miata. Mm. Yes! <laughs> I love watching the otter in this show. I love watching his growth throughout the episode so far. Yeah, if the if the gamblers lose a lot of money here, the crowd is not gonna be very happy with you, that's for damn sure. You gotta, you can't help but be impressed by it though. Risk it all on that one shot. <laughs> Japan and Thailand do have a bit of a rivalry as well. Thailand kind of uh, says that Japan uh, appropriated Muay Thai back in the 60s. There was some karate versus Muay Thai fights, which sort of led to the creation of karate, uh, Japanese kickboxing. Thailand wasn't super happy about that because they said that, you know, Japan uh, appropriated the style. Uh, and then, you know, with Borkow being doing so well in K1, which is the Japanese kickboxing organization, it kind of helped repair that and kind of make it popular again. Like. They have a bit of a back and forth history there. Actually, one of the big uh, one of the big karateka who fought, um, I think it was 1963. I can't remember the name of the Thai, but uh, his name was Tashida Sawamura, just like uh, Ryuhei Sawamura from from Ipo. And uh, he was one of the ones who sort of went in. He fought one of the Thais. He lost, and then he adapted. He's one of the sort of the founders and the creators of Japanese kickboxing. But anyway, that is that is another uh, that's another thing. Anyway, guys, there you go. Miata versus Jimmy Sisfa. I think that we've done all the Miata fights from the series now. If not, please let me know. Uh, I know we've done the Arnie Gregory one. We've done his earlier ones. If there's any that are missing, make sure to let me know. Definitely want to go and give those a look. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below. Uh, let me know what we need to watch next and then subscribe. So when we get around to doing the fights that you want to see, you don't miss out. Till next time, stay awesome. Have a great day.
拜。